From previous episodes, always remember that force multipliers have a mechanical advantage that is greater than one, and that speed and displacement multipliers have a mechanical advantage less than one, and that lots and lots and lots of machines change the direction of the force. Scissors are two first-class levers combined with two wedges. The overall mechanical advantage is greater than one, so they are force multipliers. It makes more sense when you compare. The little blue scissors have a larger handle to blade ratio consistently than the yellow ones do, so they are better multipliers of force. These scissors, on the other hand, are just basically bad, because with minimal force I was able to slide an entire pair of scissors in between the other two blades. Not so good. Designed for cutting your clothing off in emergencies, these black scissors have a much larger mechanical advantage than the yellow ones. Tilt your head slightly to the left and you see a cartoon character, but you can see from the measurements that it's a good force multiplier. The blues are good for cutting metal, also obviously good force multipliers. You can see this by the measurements shown here. Even though they have multiple pivot points, these scissors are also excellent force multipliers with the mechanical advantage much greater than one, but they're not exactly calculated in the same way. When you start cutting with the scissors all the way open, the mechanical advantage is much greater than one. As you continue, the mechanical advantage decreases until you may actually get a speed multiplier lever from scissors. Like these black ones, the handle's a bit shorter and the blades are a bit longer, so at the very end, you actually have a lever that is a speed multiplier. And here you have bolt cutters, which are not really scissors, but you can pretend to do measurements on them too, even though there are multiple pivot points. And the mechanical advantage is much greater than what you would expect. And here we have a puny weakling who is going to use a pair of scissors to break stuff. If you had the choice to cut a lock, would you use the scissors or would you use the lock cutters? First we try it with the scissors. Come on, try. Come on, puny weakling. Try really hard. Cut it. Cut it. Cut. Okay, that's not really working very well. Okay, we're going to try it again with the bolt cutters. Let's squeeze it. Squeeze it. Squeeze it. Come on, weakling. Okay, I'm really This isn't going to work. Okay, choke up on it. Choke up on it. So where do you want to put that thing? It's out at the end, right? If you want to cut something with scissors, and it's really difficult to cut, where do you put it? Uh, deep in the jaw, right? Let's put that thing deep in the jaw. And after a few attempts, we came up with this. Push on it. Push. Put all your weight into it. There you go. Did you actually... Yeah. You actually broke it, didn't you? Yeah. You're amazing! You're a whole lot stronger than we thought. We love scissors. They're mostly force multipliers and direction changers.